you should down uh, make a server for Minecraft clients and Minecraft clients. So, yeah. So what you want to do first is you want to download Hamachi over here. I'll put the link in the description below. Yeah, and you want to get unmanaged. Once you get unmanaged, you'll get this right here. And uh, your friends need Hamachi to join your server too. And so, if you want to connect to one of your friends' networks, you press Join Network in this little network tab. And if you want to create a new network for your friends to join, you just press the Create Network type tab. And you have a bunch of networks over here. So, I have a bunch of people who can join. And, yeah, that's how you set up Hamachi. Okay, so now you... Okay, so now you set up Hamachi. And now you want to set up your server. So, you want to go to Minecraft.net or Mojang. Doesn't really matter. And you want to download the Minecraft, the Minecraft server.exe. They're on both websites. Exe. Exe. And so, just download it. And my downloads right there. So, yeah. Now you want to drag it into a folder. So, to make a new folder, you right click the, uh, your desktop, press new, folder, and you can name it whatever you want. So, I'm on 1.4.7, and I'm going to name it Minecraft Server 1.4.7. And what you want to do is you want to drag this into there. So now you have your little Minecraft server. I'm just going to rename this. Okay. So now, start up your server. And wait until it says done. Okay, so now it says done just want to exit out. Uh, it, it just bugs me for a bit. Okay, so now it's exit out. And now you have all of these. This is your default world. Your default world. Um, I'm going to show you how to make, like, how have your server have maps. So, yeah, this is your server, and these are all your stuff. And, okay, so now what you want to do is you want to open your server properties file. It should say properties file. And for me, I just have to double click it. And I get this. Um, some of my friends, they asked me how to do it, and they couldn't open this. So, then I shared then they shared their screen on Skype so then when they opened it it said Windows can't open this file and it said uh find the program from the browser or something or use already installed program you wanna select use already installed program and select something like notepad or wordpad or Microsoft Word I don't care and you should get this and it works so now what you wanna do is set up your server properties. So your level name's world. It's this right there. Uh, uh, you can mess with those. I don't, I don't really care. And your server IP is this one right there. Your little server thing right here on Hamachi. So you want to just click that. Copy IPv4. And just press Control V on server IP, and you should get your IP. Then you can press Save, close it out, Minecraft server, open it up. Okay. Now give this IP to your friends. Uh, they should already know it, or something. I don't know. Just give it to your friends, and now go to Minecraft.
Oh wait, I just realized I had Forge installed. Uh, I'll come back when I uh, get my main Minecraft. So now I'm in Minecraft. Okay, so now I'm in Minecraft, and uh, yeah, uh, go to multiplayer, go to direct connect or add server. Doesn't matter. If you press add server, then you don't have to keep putting in your IP again. So if you copied your IP, you just have to press Control V or CTRL and V at the same time. Then you press join server. Your uh, server has to be already opened. And press join. Yeah. And this is my little server. Right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, survival. Survival. And yeah. Okay, so now I'm back in the server folder. And you should see this little ops uh, notepad right here. And if you put your name in the ops, you should be opt. And then you can use commands. And yeah. Okay, so now you want to know how to get custom maps onto your server. So, uh, what you want to do is, you want to go to your map you want to download. Okay, so if it's like a single player map, you want to go to percent app, data percent, and go to your dot .minecraft, go to your saves, and drag any of your single player maps into your multiplayer server. So you just drag it, and then you just drop in here. You don't drop it in like a new folder or something. And if you want to uh, get something that's in like a zip package that you got from the internet, like the zombie apocalypse map by Hypixel that just came out, you want to just double click it and open it. And you want to get this little folder that says zombie apocalypse. Make sure it has all these stuff inside. So I already have a bunch of downloaded maps that I already played on with my friends before and uh, I'm just gonna drag them in here and that's all your maps so if you wanna get like okay so now you wanna make your uh, server properties uh, pathway into your map so I wanna go to skyblock and okay so yeah I want to go to skyblock and put in the level name for it so it's a level name near the top under allow nether above enable query you want to put the level name exactly how it is so you see skyblock 2.1 uh, all the capitals no spaces just like that then you want to press save then you can open your server, run, and now let's see if it works. And yeah, this is our skyblock right here. And this was our map. And yeah. So now this. Okay, so now this is the an extra part in this video. And I want to show you something with the server properties. So here are the server properties. You can customize these any way you want. So max players means how many players it's going to be. Uh, spawn protection is where mobs are going to spawn. How far mobs are going to spawn from you how much protection you have and uh, spawn monsters or spawn mobs uh, if you like put eggs down they still work or if you use spawners uh, difficulty 1 that means easy game mode 0 survival view distance is 10 yeah so you can see 10 blocks away generate structures too like villagers no villages and stuff a whitelist whitelist is uh, people you want in your server and so like only certain people can join and there's a little whitelist here whitelist and add p 
people of the whitelist. No, add the name of the people in the whitelist you want to join. Allow flight, which means you can fly. I think I don't know. Allow another. You want to allow another because to go in the nether. I don't know what some of these are. Level C, that's the seed. Spawn in PCs. Yeah, spawn to certificates or villagers. Spawn animals. Like sheep, cows, pigs. And texture pack. I don't know how to use that yet. Online mode, I'll, sh I'll show you later. PvP, if you set it to false. Uh, there's no PvP. And... Yeah. And MOTD is the little model you want to give to your server. So if I'm like on Skyblock, I want to just call it Skyblock. Like that. Okay, so now there's one uh, server property that will appear later than the others. It's called the uh, enable command block uh, server property. So I'll put this in the description below. And you want to just copy this and put it between difficulty and game mode. So, like that. Turn it to false, uh, command blocks won't work. And usually I don't want command blocks to work, so I leave it like that. And yeah. Okay, finally, the last step, step four. I'm pretty sure you guys have like been long waiting this for especially people using Minechapter who wanna join a server, their own server, and get other people using Minechapter to join. So yeah. Uh, mineshafter.athbot.com slash downloads, I'll put that link in the description. Go here, downloads, uh, you want to get the Mineshafter proxy for servers. And keep, show all downloads, and you should get the Mineshafter server.jar. So go in your Minecraft server, and drag this in, and there you go. But you're not done yet. You're not done yet. So what you want to do is go to your server. In the online mode I was talking about, you want to set that to false. Yeah. Like that. Close it. Save and close it. And open up your server. And yeah, it says uh, Minecraft is running in offline mode. And people with other usernames can join. And usually if you're using like a regular server, you don't want that to happen. And, but you're using Hamachi and only people who have, who are connected to your network can join. And I guarantee this will work. Because I have a friend who uses Minecrafter, and he joins my server all the time. So yeah, uh, all the links will be in the description below and uh, thanks for watching. Hey everyone, Astro. Hey everyone, Astro here again. Uh, <clears throat> so just finishing up this video, and I wanted to show you that Mine Chapter does work on my server. My server's open right now. I just went it, and this is my little Mine Chapter account. <clears throat> I have a Minecraft account too, but Mine Chapter is just if like Minecraft uh, cannot connect to Minecraft on it. See, this is my Mine Chapter account. And so I have a login. <coughs> Go to multiplayer. And I join my server. I am in my server. This is me, mine chapter. And uh, my friend who used mine chapter is also in here. Uh, let's see, player. Player right there. Let me see. Player right there. That one. Should be somewhere. Oh, yeah, he's right there. He's in Mine Chapter 2. And yeah. Also, one more thing on. 
Uh, one more thing on uh, Worlds is that if you download Worlds from the internet, I recommend you get WinRAR to open it. This especially goes for like Windows XP users because you can't even open it. Most of the time it comes in a compressed file and most people don't even bother with compressed files by opening it with WinRAR. And so yeah, I recommend WinRAR. So uh, thanks for watching my video. And please uh, comment, rate, and support my videos by subscribing. And uh, yeah.